Greetings for color fans and welcome back here to Metarox channel and uh, today I have a very special video. Tis the season October where all kinds of creepy crawlies and spooky things come out. Um, so I thought uh, let's go and see the covers, the horror covers, by none other than San Ho Kim. Actually it's pronounced, it's read from uh, right to left. Uh, so it would be Kim Sam Ho. And uh, he is a Korean artist born in 1939 who worked primarily for Charlton. And that's where I'm going to focus on the horror titles that he did for Charlton. Uh, he started working for Charlton in the late 60s. This is the earliest one that I could find. And it's just that figure down there, that uh, greenish horned figure there. This is strictly speaking, not a horror comic, but that story is kind of horror-esque. So I thought I'd include it. And said it, that's the first cover art that I found. I figured I didn't uh, just put it in here. So this is not everything, every uh, art that he's ever done in horror, because he has he did a lot of interiors as well, but these are all the original covers, and I'll tell you what I mean by that. There are some other covers that I am not showing because uh, Charlton did a lot of uh, reprinting of the same cover and also using interior panels and using them as the cover as well. So I don't have all of those, but all the original covers I do believe I do have. So here we have uh, Ghost Manor number four. And again, um, his, his, his signature down here. Uh, Kim Sam Ho was uh, the first one to introduce the Manhwa style, which my understanding is a, a Korean art form. Uh, my buddy Nam in a comic what bookworm could correct me if I'm wrong there. Uh, his, I just, I've, I've been collecting his covers for quite a few years, probably 10 years or so, just because they've always struck me as just so unique. Uh, they all they have just a uh, a certain je ne sais quoi about them. Um, they oh, some of them are almost like um, like chalky or uh, as as if you know charcoal. They just have a depth of a lot of detail. And his horror covers, as you can see, they're they're quite creepy. You know, they just have this element of uh, of mystery and of of, you know, sinister <laughs> vibes, you know. Um, so I just, I just always uh, have gravitated towards them. And again, uh, I've been buying these, you know, for probably uh, a decade and, and conventions and back issue bins, etc. He did Ghost Manor 4 through 12 or 13. I forgot now. There's 11. He came to, again, he came to the United States in the late 60s, and he set up his own little shop there. Uh, I think it was somewhere in New York area. Now, you see, now this is, this is, some of these covers are barely, you know, San Ho Kim, because he, for example, he just did that Secret Man part right there, which is probably a reprint from the interior, but I do have some of those. But again, I don't really count those as a complete. Um, I like the, his original covers here. Here we have uh, Ghost Manor number 20, uh, Vampire Groom cover there. He did also a, a lot of covers for uh, the title Cheyenne Kid, and he did a few Fighting Marines. But uh, those were not horror covers, so I did not include them here, and I don't have all of those as of yet. See, like this here, that bottom part there is San Ho Kim, but it's just the houses and the sign there and that those mounds. So, yeah, I, that is original though, so I did you know include it. But uh, again, uh, some of the, Charlton sometimes they would just have various artists do parts of the cover. So, but I included if he did uh, any original art in them. Here's a really nice number twenty four. That uh, very very creepy guy, bats, and I don't know what that creature is there. And that lady looks like she's floating in blood. Again, they has kind of that just that you know. That um, that 
kind of just gets under your skin, you know, crawl, creepy, creepy, crawly qualities. Here is um, Ghost Manor number 35. This is actually reprints um, some uh, a panel from inside. The Bloody Mermaid, he did the whole... The whole issue is that story. Now, this is not the original. This is the reprint. I have the original. I'll show it later. But I, it's easier for me to go by title. So this is the Ghost Manor covers that he did. I hope that makes sense. And again, this is an, this one I think is an original cover, but it's essentially a scene from the inside there of that guy trying to escape from that haunted house. Okay, so those are the Ghost Manor. Let's go through some other titles. Here is The Many Ghosts of Dr. Graves, number 23. And uh, he did this bottom section here, which is, again, a reprint of an interior. But, you know, once again, la-di-da, I just happened to come across it. Uh, this is a totally original cover here. The Many Ghosts of Dr. Graves, number 36, where that lady is turning into a zombie or some other thing similar, some other similar ghoul. And here we have a nice, almost like a cameo kind of thing. Like looking through it, not a cameo, looking like through a periscope. Very creepy, kind of uh, gothic, sort of. Hmm? And here we have a very, very lush, again, this has almost like a charcoal quality to it. Um, really neat ghostly haunts number 44 this is the only one he did in that title i do believe only cover he did in that title i do believe and here's that ghostly tales number 91 which is the original bloody mermaid bloody mermaid story and cover again very very nice uh, his interiors are actually outstanding as well by the way but uh you know we would be here all day if i Took you through that. Now this one here is very special. Uh, comic Bookworm Nauman and I actually did a read through of this uh, comic, and it's all San Ho Kim. He wrote it and he drew it, and it's unique because it's written in both Korean and English. So he did the Korean uh, reading, and I did the English reading. Lots of fun. Really good story. Just enjoyed the heck out of this. Uh, just ingenious stuff that he could do something like that. Is a very unique comic. Uh, something that I'm so glad to have in my collection. I actually had the reprint nomin gave me that original as an A-OK. -okay. Here's Ghostly Tales number 116. That kind of gargoyle-ish figure there. And here at 128. Uh, wartime zombies, skeletons, something like that. Again, he did uh, some uh, wartime stuff as well. He also did uh, all the, I find, I'm not sure how I mentioned it, uh, House of Yang. He did all the art in those, in that title as well. And those are his covers there, bracketing uh, what I'm showing you. Um, and that is pretty much it. Now, again, I, just for completeness sake, I'm going to show you these two. You've seen these before, <laughs> but these are the reprints. Sometimes they, Charlton did that. They'll just change the color scheme or they'll mirror it. In the original, she's on this side, he's on that side. And uh, this is, again, the, uh, re the uh, reprint of that great uh, The Promise story that I was talking about that I did with Nah Man. And, um, and that's it. Um, but again... You can see that he is a, a great talent. He's still alive today, 84 years old. Um, I believe Nami was trying to get a hold of him to interview him. And, I, I, you know, I would be above the moon if we could talk, actually talk to him because I've been a fan of his for decades. Um, and uh, so hopefully that will happen sometime in the near future. All right, that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. I hope that you, you know, that this is uh, spotlighting an artist that you just don't hear much about out there, but I think has a lot of merit. All right, uh, next Thursday is the Horror Horde Showdown, where five community members are going to be battling the, the 20 categories that I sent them. We'll spin a wheel and see, and you in the chat will vote to see who, who has the best cover for that category. And at the end, they will be the winner and receive a prize. All right, buddy. See you then. Be kind to each other. Be blessed. And be back. Bye.